Alrighty, I have a really sad but um, big update on Tundra Twister, but I also want to stress that everything I'm about to discuss is speculation and rumors, and nothing is confirmed until the park makes an opening announcement for Tundra Twister. Um, with that being said, everything I talk about is, again, just speculation, and on top of that, everything I'm about to talk about is actually really normal for a first-of-a-kind uh, ride that's being designed. So um, in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I think are going wrong with Tundra Twister. Um, so take everything I say with a grain of salt in this video, but um, trust me, I, I, I promise you what I'm about to talk about is accurate. And also just know that this is normal when it comes to a first-of-a-kind and that they will make adjustments um, and solutions for all the problems and Tundra Twister will eventually open. Um, with that being said, Tundra Twister, um, what I'm assuming, or I'm assuming, is having some problems with uh, overheating. Um, so we've noticed that it goes down for kind of like a cool off period, um, and it's very evident that that's kind of going on, and the the ride is having some sort of overheating problem. So with that, they'll either install like something like they did on Sledgehammer, a cooling system to help with that. Um, and uh, yeah, and as you saw at the beginning of the video, it's also having troubles getting stuck upside down, and you know the TSSA will not like that. So Mondial or Wonderland's going to have to come up with a solution. It's kind of easy. They could add a counterweight to the actual um, ride itself on more than like, like on one side of the gondola. Um, more front or back of it um, to help fix that. But I guess into the update, they've added some themed like fencing similar to Yukon Strikers Station as the uh, connecting the railings. Um, they are adding the net over Tundra Twister to protect the underpassage and pathways. Uh, they are sending up guide wires up the support columns of Tundra Twister. So when maintenance works on it, they have the, uh, you know, the safety uh, installed. So they were installing that as well. The tents for the queue line are installed. More themings going in. And the sign for Tundra Twister should be up tomorrow the latest. Um, everything for the sign was installed today. Um, They're also installing a secondary fence uh, to separate the path and Tundra Twister um, as well. And it looks like it's going to be a slightly taller fence as well. Um, so with that being said, uh, they are definitely, you, all the problems taken out of the equation, they are falling behind. So it is most certainly, unless for some miracle, um, not going to open this weekend. I can't see it opening this weekend. Um, the only way it's going to open this weekend is if the test cycles that the guy was doing programming the ride counted uh, towards. So um, instead of uh, my calculation was for Saturday, Sunday, running from like eight in the morning till like 10 p.m. at night. And so far, they've only been running from 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. today to about 8 p.m. So losing a lot of cycle counts. It's doing about 12 cycles max an hour. Um, we saw anywhere from 10 to 12. So definitely not hitting what it should be. Um, and on top of that, um, they've been running into some cooling and heating, overheating issues, and now the getting stuck upside down, as we caught on film, so thank you to Key Switches who sent me the footage of it. Again, I want to stress that this is a lot more normal uh, than you think, so there's a reason that they test and over-test a ride that is first of its kind. So most rides do about 50 to 100 cycles before opening. If it's not a first of its kind, this ride has to do 500. And what that's going to do is it's going to show them exactly things like this. It shows them, oh, there's a flaw in the design. Okay, we need to add a little um, uh, kind of enhancement or fine tune a little bit of the design. It's a lot easier than you think. They can go in like they, you know, uh, for an example, Leviathan was too light. When it was built, it would valley a lot. Now they added a lot of weight to the front car, the zero car of the train, um, and it doesn't valley anymore. So, uh, for example, they can add a metal plate a little more to one side of the gondola, front or back, and that should help fix this problem. Um, on top of that, um, the overheating, they can add a cooling system. That one's a little trickier. That's going to be a big install, but that's not technically like, uh, I wouldn't say it has to be rushed. 
Um, but I'm sure there's other solutions outside of that. I'm just not an engineer um, and I don't have that information. But uh, for example, Sledgehammer had overheating problems and they added that cooling system. Um, but yeah, that's just all I know or think I know on Tundra Twister. So again, take everything I say with a grain of salt until the park makes an announcement on opening. But I wanted to pass on any information that I think I had um, to you guys. And I did want to reiterate that this is very normal for a first of kind flat ride. And it is not the end of the world. The ride will open when it's ready. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.